Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be diving into the world of cybersecurity to talk about a topic that's both fascinating and unfortunately all too common, DDoS attacks. Now, this video is going to have everything you need to know about DDoS attacks in less than 5 minutes. But before we get into that, if you want to protect yourself from DDoS attacks and other cyber threats like malware or phishing attacks, your best and most efficient solution would be to go for a reliable antivirus. And that's because most modern antiviruses nowadays include a lot of bonus features like firewalls, which protect against DDoS attacks and web protection services that protect from phishing scams. So if you don't already have one or are looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend, as well as discounts in the description down below. So make sure to check them out. Okay, so DDoS or Distributed Denial of Service Attacks are like the online equivalent of a traffic jam on the information highway. Imagine your favorite website or online service suddenly becoming unreachable, like a roadblock preventing you from reaching your destination. That's the chaos a DDoS attack creates. At its core, a DDoS attack floods a website or online service with an overwhelming amount of traffic. This flood isn't your regular web traffic. It's a massive surge that the target system can't handle, causing it to slow down or worse, crash entirely. So, how does this happen? Well, it's not just one computer causing the chaos. It's a distributed network of compromised computers, often called a botnet. These are like zombie computers secretly controlled by the attacker. The attacker remotely commands this army of compromised computers to send a flood of requests to the target simultaneously. The sheer volume overwhelms the target servers, making it nearly impossible for legitimate users to access the website or service. And the way this attacker gets his hands on such a large group of computers is through social engineering tactics. If you'd like to know more about these, I've made a video going into social engineering in details, which I'll leave in the description down below. Now, before we get into why someone would do this, let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark One. Surfshark One is a bundle that includes almost all of your cybersecurity needs, from a reputable antivirus to even an ad blocker. While there isn't one tool that can completely guarantee your privacy, having all of them together in one neat package can greatly enhance your cybersecurity. And that's why Surfshark is offering five products in one package. So why pay for them individually when you could get them in one simple, neatly packaged bouquet? This package includes the award-winning Surfshark VPN, which allows unlimited devices, data speed, and protection the Surfshark antivirus that secures everything on your devices from your webcam to your files, the Surfshark private search engine, which allows you to browse ad-free without any digital footprint, instant data leak notifications with Surfshark alert, and Surfshark alternative ID, which can generate a whole new online identity and proxy email for you. The best part about this is that this bundle comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee and all these apps work on all major platforms like Windows, Mac OS, and Android. So if you'd like to check them out, I'll be leaving the bundle link at the top of the description down below. Big thanks to Surfshark for being today's sponsor, and let's get back to the video. But why would someone do this? What's the motive behind a DDoS attack? Well, it could be anything from criminals seeking chaos for the sake of chaos to more evil motives like extortion, revenge, or even political reasons. In recent years, we've seen DDoS attacks hitting major websites, online gaming platforms, and even critical infrastructure. The impact of this cyber threat can range from simple inconvenience to causing significant financial losses for businesses. Thankfully, the cybersecurity community is continuously evolving to counter these threats. Mitigation strategies like traffic filtering and advanced firewalls are employed to identify and block malicious traffic. It's an ongoing battle, but experts are working hard to keep our digital highways flowing smoothly. And there you have it, that's everything you need to know about DDoS attacks in less than 5 minutes. Make sure to use reliable antivirus software as it protects you from the effects of DDoS attacks as well as many other cyber threats. If you're looking for some suggestions, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on antiviruses that I personally recommend in the description down below, along with some discounts, so make sure to check them out. 
Also, if you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments as I love to interact with you guys. And that will be all for today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.